All right, the day has come, my friends, to start slowly wrapping up the project. We're on day six of the series, which is when we're going to focus on preparing and launching the project, and then finally do the most important thing of all, which is sharing to the public, right? Um, we already covered all the other parts, uh, finished up the design and polishing in yesterday's video, so I can safely move on to day six, right? And the this is sort of a three-stage process for me, for the most part. Like in the preparation process, that's usually my Saturday mornings. First thing I do is I do a full project QA, quality assurance analysis, pretty much. Like you just go through the flow, create a new user, create a new account, try to use it with a fresh mind, with a fresh account uh, on a fresh browser, just to see that the user experience is going to be the way you would expect it to be for the end user. From there, I proceed to fix my site SEO, add any analytics tracking scripts, deploying the project to Vercel, and then add a recent for SMTP, like for uh, doing the email stuff, right? Now, these two are, are these, I mean, all of these four pretty much are optional, but I would definitely advise them. So let's get started on on the first step, right? So like the first thing we want to do is we you want to go to Lovable uh, to your project and then just run down through the landing page. Um, as you can see, it's been completely revamped yesterday. Um, you want to check if every button's working. If they're not working, you want to define their their state. Then you want to go through the app, look at like, okay, it, it, when I click on stuff, is everything working? Are there any reports uh, of errors being made? Um, does everything flow nicely? switching to, you know, dark or, or light version that, that do all the buttons look fine because you want to avoid getting feedback on the obvious bugs, right? You're going to get feedback on bugs, but you don't want to have an obvious one. So, okay, my project is sort of there. It's working. Everything is working as it should be. Uh, I can connect the project with my GitHub repo. I can build a post in the editor and push it onto the GitHub repo. And then the hosting would be done by the, the person themselves. If they're not educated on how to do it, I built a full help center for that, love for one. getting started content management, and especially, most importantly, GitHub publishing and the, the workflow for that, right? Um, so hypothetically, my app works, right? I'm, I've done the QA. I'm ready to get on with the, with the next step, which is fixing your site's SEO. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share this prompt with you, so don't worry about it. So as you can see, what you want to do is you want to say, okay, I'm to lovable, like I'm ready for the launch, right? Uh, and I just want you to update my title, description, open graph, organization, and schema settings. Like if, if you're not into SEO and you don't understand any of that, I can show you um, one of my uh, previous projects. So let's go to warranty uh, tracker over here, right? So um, these these are the settings that I'm talking about. Um, Right, you you have uh, your title, uh, you have your description, um, you have everything about your app that is then helping you get discovered uh, on search engines, right? And when you share your app on social media, that's what it's gonna dictate on how the app is gonna look like, right? Um, one important bit of information here that you should be mindful of is that there are two social images related to your website, Babacon and OG image. And I always tell Lovable that I'm going to change those manually because otherwise it automatically f tries to fetch a random image and just makes it crazy. And then from there, I can show you uh, that we actually uh, made a change. Um, so if I go to the project right now and I read the the information in the meta SEO inspector it it has a very it, it has an old name and old information doesn't have any organization uh, info whatsoever uh, built in it and now when the task is complete hopefully that will be uh, changed and updated and while Lovable is doing its thing right I'm doing my thing I'm designing the OG image so OG image is like open graph image which it ha has a specific format and I have a file I pre-prepared for all of the apps that I've built and released, and I'm just using the same template, very similar template. I'm showcasing my app. So when somebody shares or I share my app on social media, this is the featured image uh, for that app. 
and additionally go to favicon.io and switch your logo from a regular image to a, a icon image because that's what Lovable will want to use. Then once you're done building those designs, download it to your computer, make sure you name OG image exactly, OG image PNG and favicon will be likely saved like this. Delete these files, right? You just go to GitHub. It's usually under your public folder in your repository. So just go to, let's say, favicon, trill that's in the corner, delete the file, commit, change, right? Repeat the same for the OG image and then just upload your files and Lovable will just fetch them directly. Find your file. You, you choose it, like choose your files, go to favicon, find it, favicon.ico, so that icon file, commit changes and then just commit to your repository. Yeah. Uploading and deleting files will show up in Lovable chat as an external commit. As you can see, I deleted these files and then added two new files um, into the repo. You can also always click on the last edit like this, and you can check what in this particular instance, you can see exactly that it renamed the app to Git CMS created a description, built all the meta tags, the Twitter, the everything, right? And uh, in this case scenario, it, you know, it made a mistake, right? It, I told it not to touch the favicon, like always check those. I told it not to touch the link, right, uh, of the image. The OG image stayed the same, but it made this mistake of adding this um, uh, PNG file uh, for some reason. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to that particular index page and switch that. And you can actually do that directly from here, from the code editor as well. The index.html file, and then just do this real quick, All right? We're going to .ico, and then we're just going to save the change. And so, you know, you can make some manual edits too. Why not? You can become a coder in the process as well. Now, if we go back again here, we can continue by adding analytics scripts. I'm not going to do that for this project yet, uh, but basically we'll go to Google Analytics or in my case, I use Google uh, goodmetrics.io. Uh, um, basically, they give me a script uh, and then I just simply use their website. They're, they're going to go live this week. So a definitely warm recommendation to use them over, over Google Analytics. Um, and then it's the deployment process, right? Like just deploy to Vercel uh, real quick. Um, you can use Netlify as well or leave it under lovable.app. Like the easiest bit is just to go up here, top right corner, right? You just click publish. And if you've never done it, maybe there's not going to be a domain name here. But if you, know, you would just get a publish button, you just click here and it immediately updates the app. However, if you want to own your own domain, definitely warms it. A recommendation: Go to Vercel, create an account. Uh, basically, when you when you have an account, you can very easily and very simply uh, just uh, um, add new projects or domains. Right? You just click here on Add New if you want to add a project. It as long as it's synced and connected to your GitHub, all you've got to do is just click Import. Right? Don't make any other changes. Just hit Deploy, and you're done. It's that simple. Like. The account's free. Everything is free to use on Vercel. Obviously, there are some limits for free users, but for starters, it, it, it's it's really good. Once it deploys, it will ask you, oh, do you also have a custom domain to assign? And you can assign a custom domain if you bought a domain for this project, right? And that's it. Your project will go live under that domain. You don't have to think about it at all, right? Um, so um, to continue off, uh, with the next steps, right? One thing that I do want to emphasize before you start sharing your project publicly is you want to do something that a lot of people do not do. Um, if you remember, we connected this project to Supamace very, very early on. And uh, along the, the way, there were a lot of things that we talked about that were done. But one thing that wasn't done is the authentication stuff, right? So when you to enable authentication and to understand how it works, you want to go to the authentication and switch from users to um, sign in and sign up. And then in your email settings, 
unless you toggled it off like I did, email confirmations are mandatory, right, for your users, right? And if that's the case, what you want to make sure is that you want to understand that now for people to actually verify their email, you need to send them to the right URL. By default, Ver, uh, uh, Superbase will give this local host testing environment URL. So this is the, the step that you absolutely need to change. Otherwise, your user will not be able to sign up. Depending on what URL structure you chose, you're going to choose which uh, uh, place to send users to. Let's say for this project, I just want to keep it on Lovable. So you just take a URL from Lovable, this domain URL, and then go here to the authentication and update the site URL. That will allow users to confirm their email addresses and complete the sign up properly. I've seen a lot of users do everything except but this, and they're like, people can sign up for my project. You know, so this is extremely, extremely important, right? And then finally, the most important part, and that's sharing, right? Um, you can definitely use and leverage AI. I would definitely recommend Reddit, Reddit's my go-to place. I, I post on Reddit all of my projects, leave the links there. I all get a lot of upvotes and, and, and comments and a lot of users come from Reddit. I also post on YouTube. If you don't know how to go about marketing, I don't, I'm not going to record a video on marketing, but like definitely train AI like I did. I have posts where it's like giving me hooks and stuff like that. So go to ChatGPT. Maybe English is not your primary language either. Maybe you're not uh, comfortable sharing on it. But as you can see, I've built many, many chats where uh, I'm asking it to help me draft uh, Reddit posts. I read those, I refine them, and then I go and, and publish them, right? So definitely uh, use AI for your benefit. Um, I will say this, 99% of people watching these videos will think about, oh, all I got to do is build, right? And I want to say that that is a mistake. Ideas, as you can see, are pretty much worthless. You can ask ChatGPT to give you hundreds of ideas in a, in a single prompt. Building, almost worthless as well. As you can see, in just a matter of a couple of hours, you can build a project. It's going to cost you less than $20 in credit. So the attention is the only thing that matters. If you're watching the video series, I can't emphasize this enough. If it took you seven days to build a project, that's only 25% of the work, right? Ideation and building and talking to customers later should be approximately uh, uh, taking take you the same amount of time. But the biggest bulk of work is, is about sharing and getting eyeballs and getting attention to your project. Um, so a couple of words of advice if you're figuring out how to start. Like you can use Loom. I use Loom to record myself in these videos. Then I use uh, Adobe's uh, and uh, uh, podcast enhance uh, software. It's better than any microphone that I can buy. I just... Uh, upload the file and then do speech and back and 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 in other enhancements. Otherwise, my voice would be horrible. Uh, build a template, right? You know, uh, for for social media posts. Like uh, every week, I I when I post on YouTube, for example, I go over pretty much the same stuff, right? I talk about why I wanted to decide to build the uh, the app, what are its features, um, the tech step that I used things that I've learned, things that were challenging, and I give myself a final score. Make this journey as easy as possible and be consistent with posting is the absolute key for uh, success. This wraps up day number six. Um, if you have any questions, I'm open for them in the comments. Tomorrow, we're going to wrap things up by talking about Lovable Launched, about tracking your results and your next steps. See you tomorrow.